Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm wearing this kind of like candy cane shirt because I'm going to be doing Vlogmas and I wanted to announce that here. Um, so that means I'll be posting a video each day of December. And uh, I'm really excited because I love creative projects. I'm gonna set up um, my camera to kind of watch me paint and I think I'm gonna do like a focus on affirmations. Um, so, I feel like my paintbrush is somewhere. I was just gonna show these paintbrushes I have lying around that I'll be using. Um, and I have just random acrylic paints. Um, like these just random things, random paints that I have. I think there's like paints in my car that have just been like sitting there. Um, and then I have like some random canvases that I will be using. All right, so welcome to my, my little paint setup here. I don't have an easel and um, so I set it up on the floor here with the towel. It's not gonna be too complicated of a project, so I don't think that an easel would be necessary or like would help that much. Um, sometimes there, there's little pieces of the brush that come off, which is okay. Um, okay. So I already mixed a little bit of this forest green here. It's a little hard to see in that lighting, but you'll see soon. Um, I actually, I'm probably just gonna get started here. I I wet the canvas with just plain water to just, I, I find that it just helps get the painting flowing in a, just like an easier um, kind of way. It makes it like nicer to, for the paint to go on. Um, also, I have my tea here, so this is just going to be a really relaxing kind of project. So, um, I think I'm going to get this off the brush and then probably go to a bigger brush to get the green on there. But, um, just going to get started. I kind of thought about putting some white on this too to maybe get a little lighter green, but um, I'm not sure yet. And um, <clears throat> I have an affirmation picked out to write on here. Um, it's kind of uh, something that I, I use regularly in my life, but um, I found I found the affirmation kind of listed with um, with other affirmations today, and it actually had another word added to it, and I really liked it. So um, I will show you what it is once we get closer to that time. Um, yeah, I think this is looking a little dark, so. Um, I'm going to get that paint off of there best I can. Get that Sit it sitting in there as far away. Set that over here. I'm kind of low on my white. Okay, let's start it down here and see what I got. Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's like a, a calming kind of green. This is kind of similar um, to the painting I did about a year ago, and I did it instead with red. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. <clears throat> I just like really simple when I paint. 
I used to try to get all complicated and do like a big landscape. Try to kind of like look up something online and like go off of that. Um, and I might try that again one day, but it's pretty difficult. And also I tend to get kind of like, I, when I see like one painting with like a intricate scene for like over and over, I honestly get a little tired of it. The paintings in my apartment are a lot of like nature -y, like things that you might see like in many places. And I kind of like that. And this is looking nice, kind of like, it reminds me of like pond colors. And actually, this color is re reminding me a lot of the green chakra, which is associated with the heart. Um, so that's kind of perfect, actually, for the affirmation that I'm going to put on here. Um, so that's exciting. So yeah, chakras. Um, I do, I am a strong believer in like chakras and how it identifies different parts of us, our different needs. Um, I think they're, they're very like related to like crystals. I know like in a lot of um, like literature about how crystals heal, there's often like, it discusses which crystals are best for which chakra. And for the, the green chakra, the rose quartz is always, I think, the most popular associated with that one. I got into crystals and chakras um, not too long before I got into the Sarno methods. I think it was during the pandemic when my I got really into the crystals more than I ever had. Before that, I, I really like rocks and crystals, but they were definitely not a focus in my life. They were, I, I know I had kind of like a, a little rock collection growing up and that always kind of stayed with me. But um, I kept those like in like a little box or like, little containers and I, I never brought them out or anything. I didn't know what their names were. I didn't know which rocks or crystals, which, which what was what. And so I just kind of discovered the whole crystal world. Um, last year, I would say that's when it really started having an influence and an impact in my life and I've just like really fallen in love with them um and so I I got really into crystals about the summer of 2020 and then I got into the Sarno work um about November 2020 so pretty close together, I would say. And to me, they're just very intertwined. And I don't know if that's just because of my own personal life. But once I started learning about the Sarno work, I just always associate that with like crystals, nature, chakras, spirituality in general. I think that the pandemic um, helped me become a very spiritual person and it's changed my life in so many wonderful ways. So I think that I'm like finishing up here with 
what I want for the background. Okay, I think it's about dry enough now. I have these paint containers lined up here so that it helps me remember the different lines for the words. So they, they stay kind of, the words are spaced out enough. So I guess it will be kind of a surprise as I go along. Um, it's a pretty short affirmation, so. I would get so nervous and it's about to be the time. So close. I'm kind of using a calligraphy guide. And just making sure it looks good. Hi everyone, so for this part I decided to do a voiceover and then um, quicken the speed for the part where I paint all the letters. And it just kind of took me a while here. I was using a calligraphy guide on my laptop and I was just being really careful. And yeah, I tend to be kind of a perfectionist um, even when it comes to my arts and crafts. Um, by no means am I like a professional painter. I just kind of get inspiration from time to time and want to just um, explore painting and other crafts. So I just keep painting the letters and um, as you can see the affirmation is starting to say I unconditionally and um, the full affirmation is I unconditionally love myself and um, what I really loved was um, by the end I noticed that the word myself was a little bolder um, at the self when, when I was writing self and I thought it was kind of meant to be because with holistic living um, there's a lot of focus on self, self-love, self-care self-compassion and so here I am kind of finishing up and making finishing touches and yeah I was very happy with my finished result. I also just looking at my list here I have some trips coming up that I'm gonna um, film like parts of it um, and snowboarding. I'm going to try to film that some of that somehow. Um, more hiking. I'm going to film that. And I'm going to go to my favorite crystal store and like film what I got. Well, that's an idea at least. That I don't know like how this is going to actually like what it's going to result in, but um, I'm going to try my best to kind of go off of this and then just see what I feel like. All of the things um, on my on the list are going to relate really back to the Sarno methods and chronic pain, the mind body connection and holistic living. I want to thank everyone for watching and um, please feel free to subscribe. If you want to watch my Vlogmas journey and um, hope everyone has a great holiday month and you had a great Thanksgiving and I will see you in my next video.